All right, it's Bill with Restoring Christine, video blog of the restoration of a 1956 Chevy Bel Air that I've been doing for about a year now. Uh, we had to take a detour on that project just for a little bit because Cruising the Coast is an annual event with uh, classic cars, let's see, 9,600 registered classic cars this year cruising Highway 90 in Mississippi, all the way from Bay St. Louis to Pascagoula and all points in between, 45 plus miles of sandy beaches, fun in the sun, top down, convertible all day long. It was outstanding, it was fun. Well, last year I spent a lot of time putting together five different videos on how to do cruising the coast. This year I decided I was just gonna stay in the moment. I didn't uh, pull out the camera to try to record anything to, to make any, any content for this channel, but I did do it once. <laughs> there was one story that I was compelled to tell. It was about the time that we almost burned this, this 71 Cutlass to the ground. This is a story involving a starter, a battery cable, an exhaust manifold, a short, I think you might get the picture, <laughs> have a listen. All right, so I have this 1971 Cutlass that I built from a basket of bolts. Um, it took me three years to do it in the garage, frame off, and it's, uh, I'm very, very proud of it. take it out to cruising the coast and the Mississippi coast every year. It's always in the first week of October. So right now we're here um, and I'm coming up to a spot that's got a bad memory for me for me, and I'm gonna share that story with you. Um, we were cruising in and we were waiting in line to get into the Ocean Spring site. And we were behind a line of classic cars and, uh, and we're just inching forward. And earlier that week, I made some uh, some changes. I had I had some issues with the starter, and I took the starter down and put the starter back up. And the car had been running great. I mean, flawless. It was running flawless. So as we started creeping up this road here, we started getting up towards the end, and uh, that's when things started to go wrong. So we were cruising towards the site, and you can see where this entrance is up here. And uh, there was a line of cars. And I turned on to this corner, and just as I turned on to this corner right here, just as I turned right here, man, suddenly, boom, and like the whole car just shut down and it just went dead. I'm like, what the heck? And I pulled underneath this oak tree that's right here. And it's just, I coasted to a stop. I coasted to a stop right here. The car just killed. And, and as soon as I did that, I saw smoke underneath the hood. I saw smoke underneath the hood and I freaked out and I was like, oh geez, and I could smell plastic burning. I jumped up, I got out of the, I got out of into the trunk and I grabbed a pair of pliers and I popped the hood and I quickly snapped. I looked and sure enough, battery cable. And I snipped it right at the battery. This thing had just totally melted. Totally melted. I thought for sure we were burning this car to the ground. Kill the battery. Starter was fine, but the cable was gone, the battery was gone. And I mean, after I got over the panic, um, we didn't know what to do. We had the hood popped and we, I mean, the battery, it literally, it literally melted the battery. So as luck would have it, I had a, I had a friend of mine that was uh, a few cars behind me. I didn't know it. And when he saw us pulled over, he pulled over and uh, my buddy Sidney uh, gave up his entire afternoon with him and his son, they were cruising in their, in their uh, Coronet. I think he's got a 66, 66 uh, Dodge Coronet convertible. And he gave up his entire afternoon to take us, brought us to the parts store, got a new battery, got a new cable, came back here and he climbed underneath the car. There were uh, neighborhood people that came around and uh, somebody said, oh, I got, you need a floor jack? I got a floor jack. And he went home and got a floor jack and brought it out here. And we stood underneath this oak tree and, and, uh, and change this battery cable and we got back on the road. Scared me like you wouldn't believe. So the epilogue to that is the next day we're cruising around having fun and we were in Bay St. Louis 
just as base St. Louis, we're, we're, we're standing on the side of the, uh, or we're driving through, I'm sorry, we're, we're driving through. And just as we're doing that, I see Sydney on the side. I'm like, hey man, where's your car? He broke down after he brought us to the parts store. He had to get somebody to come from out of town and come get him to bring it to his car home. I sent him an Amazon gift card or, uh, and, uh, or Summit. I sent him a Summit gift card. I sent one to uh, an Amazon gift card to his son and uh, really appreciate everything that Sydney and his son did. But that was when we almost burned this car to the ground. And uh, <laughs> we were very, very lucky. So from that point forward, I drive with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> So that's it for this little story. Thanks for listening.